This Harlan. Hey there, Harlan. I think I was talking to someone there at the funeral home. Uh, she may have kept you up to date on what I was asking. No, ma'am. Well, here's what I got. Uh, I got Tommy and Wanda. They was my cousins. And they were lovers. And uh, Tommy and I, I'm, we are getting ready. We're trying to have a funeral for them. But I can't get it happening because nobody wants to do my request, which was their request. Tommy and Wanda, we want to put them in the same casket because we got one lot that they bought that they wanted to be buried at. Are they both? Are they both adults? They, well, here's the thing. Yes, but Tommy was five foot nine, and Wanda was four eleven. She weighed about ninety pounds. I'll be honest with you. That's something I'm going to have to check on because I'm not sure I can bury. Uh, two adults in the same casket. Name again. My name is Sharon Jean Sherwood. Before we go any farther, tell me your relationship. Tommy was and my was, Tommy was my first cousin, and Wanda was Tommy's first cousin. Are they both deceased? Dead or as a doornail? Well, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm just having to ask. I got stung by a bunch of bumblebees while they was out there hunting foxes. Stupid, stupid, uh, stupid way to go, but that's how they did it. Things happen sometimes. Does Tommy and Wanda have any children or any no. other family? No, no, they knew better than to have kids because they was, they was cousins. Well, I understand that. They were married? No, they weren't married. They couldn't get married by Alabama state law, but they was lovers since right. high school. Okay, and spell your first name for me. Sharon, S-H-A-R-O-N. Jean, J E A N, Jean, Sharon Jean. And what's your last name, Miss Sharon Jean? Sherwood, S H E R W O O D. Where are Tommy and Wanda now? They're at my grandfather's house. When did they pass away? Last week. Now, Hayden, is that where their death occurred? No, sir. They, they passed away up in Kentucky. We had to bring them down in a U Haul. Were they embalmed? They were. What's the funeral home that embalmed it there? My grandfather embalmed him. That's what he did for 47 years. So he's got all the tools at his house. And so he embalmed him at the house? Yeah, he did. Is he a licensed embalmer? He is. Okay. Let me give you a call back. Harlan, Harlan. What, what would you say is a probability of us just being able to put them in the same casket for the viewing and then bury them in two different caskets? What was I, it? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make a, uh, an assumption on anything. Hey, are you Austin? This is Danielle. Uh, yes, ma'am. I need to talk to somebody in charge about a complaint I got. Well, I came in there yesterday, and when I was in there, there was a man at the front desk that checked me in. He started off real courteous, real nice. And towards the end of our conversation, when he handed me my room key and got me all checked in, I got a little, you know, disturbed at what he asked me. And I figured I, I, I kind of marinated on it for about a night, and I figured I needed to call and report him. So, once he got me checked in, he asked me if I was looking to buy any billy goats. And, now, I know that might not seem like a big deal, but he actually got on the elevator with me. I think what he was doing is he was pretending like he needed to go do something. And then he pulled his phone out and started showing me pictures of all these billy goats on his phone. And... To be honest with you, that's not even the weirdest part. Now, before I go on, have you heard of anybody calling about this man trying to sell Billy Goats? No, I have not. Well, would you like me to finish? Sure. So, long story short, I remembered once I got up to my floor, I was like, oh darn, I forgot my luggage. So he said, oh, I'll ride the, I'll ride the elevator back down there with you. Well, he followed me out there to the parking, and when he got out there, I swear on my life, he had, now this is what's really pissing me off. He had a billy goat tied to a rail out there, out in front of the hotel. What's the last name on the room that you stayed with us yesterday? My last name? Mm -hmm. My name is Sharon Jean Sherwood. 
Sure would. Like, sure I would. would and I'm pissed. Because I didn't, I, I paid a lot of money to stay there. It's my first time visiting Austin. And that man's trying to sell me on billy goats. I'm not seeing your reservation here? Well, I'm not even sure if he checked me in right. Because I think the whole time he was just trying to sell me on billy goats. Hell, let me ask. Hang on one second. Terrence? Terrence, what was the room number we was in? Hell, he says he don't. He can't remember. I can't remember either. We was too deterred. So, I can't find your reservation. Unfortunately, I think you have the wrong hotel. Is it because you ain't trying to get in trouble with that billy goat man? Are you conspiring with him? Is this something y'all do?